hi there and welcome back it's tanya from tutty treasures so if we um light the candle first i've just got a new one um well it isn't new i think i've got this out my bedroom <laughs> i haven't finished the tub bake one yet but um i fancied a change this is water lily and mint how lovely i don't know where the lid's gone that's why i want to um get it used used up so oh lovely because i thought it'll just get get dusty um and when you see this it will be april the 7th happiness is a perfume you cannot pour onto others without getting a few drops on yourself i like that so that made me smile, which is a nice a nice start to, to videoing. So I hope everybody's uh, okay. If you're new, then my name's Tanya and I'm from Tatty Treasures and welcome. If you like what you see, then um, you could subscribe, leave me a comment and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you are a returning subscriber, then thank you very much. It's always nice to nice to see you here, and I do thank you for, uh, you know, spending your time with me, um, watching the adverts and giving me a thumbs up, and you know all the good stuff that that you do to support me. So thank you so much. So we're in the middle of a, a big, a big project. <laughs> it's the Daisy project. I do like to do a couple of, you know, really deep dive uh, projects in, in the year. Um, last year I did a couple of uh, green botanical um, projects, which was, you know, very long um, from you know get doing all your ephemera and embellishments all all the way through um and I, I do like it so yesterday you would have saw me uh pairing the pockets up with with the tags and seeing what i'd got left and did i need a pocket for it or a tag for it and um in the meantime i've gone through my scrap card and cut out the card that will fit um the pockets so now we just need to make them um into tags or journal cards whatever they're going to be i've got my tray i did go in the embellishments uh what we've made and um i do have a playlist it's called the daisy journal uh playlist um so if you miss me making uh these types of things they're all in in that playlist um so i thought you know these are possibly be good for um adding to some of the tags still got my fussy cuts um i've had another look round and i've got a paper pad and um there were some cut parts in in that so i've cut those out oh i think that's it oh that wasn't very good was it <laughs> and um denise has sent me a few pages with some daisies on so i've also cut those out so i keep saying oh yeah i've nearly finished these and then all of a sudden i've I've got um even even more but it's surprising when you keep looking around um so yeah I just keep popping things on me tray uh we've got some scraps we've got the rest of um the kit and um, I went through my files yesterday, actually. Um, I went through Nanine's kits at collage time and uh, just looked in to see if there was anything, you know, in, in any of the other kits which would be nice for, for this project. I looked to see if there was anything for the next couple of projects. Um, but I found a, a couple. Now, I can't tell you which... Well, some of them I perhaps could, but... I'm not sure which uh, kit this is from, but this is beautiful. I know it's not daisies, but we have had the odd dandelion in there, and I've just thought that I'd go lovely. This is another um, sheet. I'm not sure what kit that's from, but um, we've obviously got daisies. And this was from um, another one of her kits, so um, I printed them out. I have now printed the full um, kits out. And what I've done is I've put it into three different folders. Um, these two are, this is going to be a, a file folder. So it's looking as if I'm making, 
<laughs> I, it's funny because I don't think I've made a conscious... Well, I don't think I make conscious decisions a lot of the time where um, making is... It just guides you, doesn't it, <laughs> into a direction. So, yeah, it's looking like uh, two altered bio folders and two journals. So this was one of the toppers um, that I painted, did my finger painting. I know a few of you was very impressed with my finger painting and I really enjoyed it. Uh, so I must get those paints out uh, more often. I have, you know, not had them very long um, and they are on my Amazon uh, favourites. So yeah, I'm thinking this would be a nice uh, background, you know, cover. Um, so, I've, I, what I did is, <clears throat> let me, um, this one is the UK um, craft file folder that we have. And all I did was went in my stash, just poured a load of different envelopes out, didn't really think about it, you know, just one of this and one of that. Um, and then I kind of went through thinking um, that can be, you know, the front and the back. Um that can be uh, the middle of the file folder. Um, I've got this envelope, which can be covered in this, and this envelope that can be covered in this, and this one that can be covered in this. These two, what can be covered in those, and this one for this. So I've just placed those all together. It, you know, when it comes down to it, maybe the papers, you know, I might think, oh, it's there's not enough daisies in it or there's too many daisies. So I might swap and change things around. But that's kind of, um, you know, where I'm going with that one. Um, the second one is this one, which is with the um, USA um, file folder, which is the Manila. And I thought this time I'm going to do it that way. I normally do mine that way folded in half. Um, so I thought, sorry, um, I'll cut it down and cut it down. Um, and this is going to be uh, the cover for this one. So that's going to be, let's just move the candle. Um, that's going to be the background, then that, and then that. Oh, I think that's going to be beautiful. Um, so that's that. And then I've done exactly the same. I've just got, oh, they're going to be the middle pages, um, you know, and um, pulled, uh, you know, whatever envelopes I've got in manila kind of colour and just place them uh, together. So that's what I've done and that little one. And that's it. But yeah, I, you know, I'll probably come to it and I'll have to add... Um, you know, I've pulled no CD envelopes out or anything like that. And I normally do like to put uh, one of those in. So, uh, but this is a rough, a rough guide because I'd obviously got the toppers <coughs> that I'd made and I was got, you know, different materials and things. And I was just trying to think, well, what am I using uh, with, with what? And these are going to be the two journals. I don't know why I've put these together and not separately like I did I've probably run out of folders I've got folders everywhere at the minute um so I'm going to do them with envelopes um the covers and I've chosen the William Morris um material and this one as the covers and this looks absolutely beautiful on there. And then I thought this one looked really nice on that one. Obviously, I need, you know, to build um, this one up a little bit more. Um, I probably won't with this, but, you know, you might just put a little bit of lace um, underneath it or something else. Um, so that's the materials and the covers. And then I just printed out the actual um, journal kit and I've backed it. Uh, so this is the Grungy Daisy journal kit. Um, I've printed out two pieces of vellum 
and these are going to be the inside of the journal and then these are going to be the first pages in them so it's a continuation of so that was that's that so that's um how it's shaping up but yes i must um split those and have them in separate ones otherwise i'm gonna get confused so that's where where we're at um so for now i want to get these um finished off so i've got no room as per usual i mean i've got loads of room but <laughs> i don't know I've just never got enough so if i pop push that up to there we'll keep those there right so i know i've only got one pocket to decorate um and this is going to go in there pull this out of my uh tea staining uh stash um and it's got a nice um lacy i put that plastic uh lace on top so that's going to go on there now i did wonder if just one of these would would fit on there. I like that colour wise. That's obviously too big. They're probably all going to be. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, a little bit too big. I think I like. Well, I like them all, but I think size wise, I don't mind that sticking. Oh, well, yeah, I like that. Yeah, so I'm going to pop pop that there. I think it probably needs something uh, behind it. Shall we just see what a bit of tissue looks like? Or shall we put some, <clears throat> some lace behind there? So look. So this is just some tea-stained lace. Um, some fabric scissors. Oh yeah, I like that. I feel like I perhaps need to just do a little bit of stamping um, just at the background. I'll leave that bit of lace out. Um, I'll use the timber brown just because it was the closest um, thing to me. Let's just grab, grab that and I can um, <clears throat> stamp on top of that. So I hope everybody is okay. I'm trying to think um it, it's actually the first of um April today as I'm filming uh this. I am a few days in front. Not as in front as I like to be, but um yeah, still got a few a few days grace with this site. So what have I been up to? I don't know. I've not been up to it to a lot. I feel as if I've been a bit um, missing in action. Um, and I don't know if that's more, um, not in a physical sense, maybe more, um, you know, mentally um, missing. Um, you know, the, the new people have moved in into my mum's house. So, you know, that was... Um, massive thing um we had mother's day here again that was uh, a massive thing um i was surprised the the day i wasn't um <clears throat> i wasn't as bad as i thought um but the build up to it was um yeah it's something to go on and on and on and um I've obviously never noticed before how long, you know, shops are, um, that's that one, I like that. So I'm going to pin, um, safety, not safety pin it, clip it together so we know who belongs to, who belongs to who. So that's one done. Let's have a look at, at this. I will continue talking when, <clears throat> when we get to one of those parts where 
where it's boring <laughs> and need to need to fill in. Just wondering about just slight rubbing rubbing over there. Yeah, that's nice. That's um just ink ink around it. Um, I think with these two, I'm just going to cover it with something plainish and then um, <clears throat> we'll see what we've got to, to stick on top of it. So I'm going to want um, some material going through there. I think a lot of these, I will keep them as more um, journal cards. Um, I try not to do that many tags because if you put in fabric, you know, through loads of tags, you, it's just a lot of uh, bunk. So I want something for that. Um, well, let's see, because I, I was just about to pull pull this in, but obviously I don't know how I'm decorating those. So we'll see. Um, yeah, so I've not, you know, you don't notice how long um, advertisers are, are advertising these um celebrations um yeah i found myself in you know card shops a couple of times just standing there um and then you know kind of realizing well i don't need to to buy a card and it kind of being a um you know just yeah just hit me um but i'd I've not made like a conscious decision to walk in the shop um, and I did it twice. Um, yeah, it was just like I found myself there. Um, and I guess, you know, we're creatures of habit, aren't we? Um, it's something, you know, that I've done for years and years. Um, and I've, I've always... <clears throat> loved buying uh for my mum because uh, you know she likes really nice things um and got really similar taste um so i always enjoyed um you know shopping shopping for her um so you know the the lead up to i would have gone in you know several shops and same with picking uh, a card i would have looked at, at lots of cards because it would have had to be you know just the right one um so yeah i think you know somewhere in you you must just be programmed to to do it and um yeah it was a bit of a shock when um kind of realized um yeah I, i've not not got anybody to to buy for um so yeah it was it was tough um and i was it's funny i was talking to my aunt about it yesterday and um i was saying to her i couldn't believe how many like emails i was getting from you know different companies even the milkman um saying about mother's day um and it it just it felt like um it was being flaunted <laughs> And I was getting a bit like, um, how dare, how dare people keep advertising and and all the rest of it. So yeah, it it, it was tough navigating it, really, really tough. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm here to tell tell the tale. But um, yeah. So yeah, the actual day was was kind of a bit of a relief. Um, I knew that the following day when when i went out the house um i wasn't gonna see it um in shop windows um and and all the rest of it um so yeah for me it was it was a relief it was like thank goodness it's over and um yeah it's funny because i'd i'd said um i'd said to ryan like um you know i've spoke before about um getting his mother um something and um i found that very very difficult um so i just sent flowers and a, and a card from the same company um you know so i didn't physically go and uh, buy them all right on them and um i said oh you know this year um i really don't want a card i, I just want it you know just to pass as as quick as possible um and like my older children sometimes they bother sometimes 
they they don't and you know that's that's fine um so i'm never sure if if um you know some some years they all buy for me and i end up with loads of flowers or loads of chocolates and, and some years none of them do <laughs> you're like oh nobody's bought me anything so um yeah i was kind of thinking oh you know nobody nobody will be bother and um yeah i'll be i'll be quite glad um my middle daughter didn't didn't bother I'd, i went to see her the day before because it was it was her birthday so i i took um a card and a present and we didn't mention it and um yeah she was going to um berlin um it's friday today so she should be going you well, should be going today actually um, so yeah, the week after her birthday, she was going to Berlin for as part of a birthday. Um, so yeah, we was you know talking talking about that and stuff. Um, I think. Oh no, I had that that way, didn't I? So that's gonna go that way. That's gonna go that way. Okay. So let's have a look what we've got um just pop those to there I might put some more paper on we'll we'll see see what we've got on the on the tray this was uh from from a book i pulled it out on um another video and said that um i was going to just stick it together and make a pocket so i've done that um so i'm just going to go through this part oh i like that straight away I'm uh, going to go through this pile and just, you know, place things on and, and we'll see. Um, yeah, so um, with the house going through, then, you know, going to see my daughter and uh, Mother's Day. Um, yeah, I've been a bit exhausted. It, it was it was a lot. Um I don't know if I want anything on that one or not. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think it goes with... I like it on there, but I don't think it goes with, with the pocket that it's with. I don't know why I just did that after I've just said it. It's not, it's not right. Mm -hmm. Mm, could have a label on there, couldn't I? So yes, my um, oldest daughter is is got the the four children. Um, I've got three granddaughters and and a grandson, and um, you know sometimes she she well she don't forget, but um, she she's obviously really really busy. Um, and this beautiful bouquet of flowers um and it was strange it got a lot of daisies in it these little really miniature um daisies i didn't take any photos i did mean to and um put them up on um, the buy me a coffee i'd yeah i'd not forgot it was in my head and then i forgot um and she sent me a lovely um card from the children and they'd all done the fingerprints on it and uh, this little mould um, with the fingers in it and uh, yeah she, she wrote me um, a really nice well I think a partner <laughs> does the writing but so I don't well saying that then I don't know if the words was from him or if she told him what to write but um yeah she said um you know, because they know that I, I'm a withdrawer. Um, I just withdraw myself um, from people and stuff when I'm, you know, going through things. And you know, she said not to not to be on my own. And um, <clears throat> I knew where where she, you know they was and and stuff so yeah whew, i was quite touched um by by that um it did take me all day to message her back and say thank you and um i appreciated her, her words um so yes that 
that happened and then um oh i like that just two two together but if i've got a little tiny I'm not totally convinced <laughs> let's try this tiny little thing or oh, maybe that in the back line. I think that's going to work nice so I'm going to do that I think that one I'm just putting that on um and that's it I really do like that one it's just um <coughs> excuse me this one I can't make me make my mind up about I think it's probably because it's it's that way I could stand it up but I think it looks better in the pocket um sideways just oh I've got these on time uh, was you telling me what about those things at the side of you uh-huh <laughs> that's um <clears throat> that might be too too wide um i'm trying to think think when it, it was i think it was the the saturday so the day before um <clears throat> elna came in and she rang me i think before she came in and she said Where, whereabouts are you in the house and i said i'm upstairs in in my classroom like why you know what's what's going off and she said um oh don't come out will you and i said no okay um <clears throat> so i, I kind of then thought oh i wonder if she's got me something and put put it in her room well colin is being a little bit of a naughty boy and now he's realized that he can keep pushing on Eleanor's door he keeps going in there and obviously because she uh takes food up there and she'll often have you know half eaten bags of crisps um they're potato chips for um our american ladies i don't know who else um calls them potato chips but um so yeah, now we knows he can get in and you know, she might have something laying about. Um he he keeps pushing his, his way in. Um so I did think like, oh I wonder if she's she's got something. So I'd I said to Ryan like, has she got me something? Because I was thinking, oh she's perhaps got me some chocolate and you know, he if he pushes his way in and eats this chocolate, he's gonna be ill and um and he said yes um so he'd said to her, i think you best um you know give your mum a, a stuff tonight and um yeah she she'd um i don't know if it was ryan's idea or her idea because <coughs> normally i just buy for myself um and i'll, I'll just say this from from alna because ryan's not very good at, at that kind of thing um so yeah i don't know if she'd asked her dad to send us some money or or if he said i'll send you some money get your mum something um oh and she bought me these beautiful pink roses um really nice um bouquet and um then she pulled out this lovely candle um which um is pink <laughs> which will surprise you you all because obviously i'm not really a pinky pinky person but i i do love pink because you know i am very girly really um i like i like girly things um you know i love makeup and and stuff lotions and potions um and it's a beautiful glass uh pink um candle and then um, it smells of wildflowers and she said i know you like wildflowers mum um so yeah that, she got me that and then she pulled out this little bear um and he was called baby bear well that made me cry um so yes yeah, so i sat sat with baby bear um in my mum's chair that night um, yeah, and then she, she bought me a beautiful uh, card. Every everything was just really beautiful, as if she'd really, you know, 
thought about it and yeah I was I was quite touched by it so yeah to say um I didn't want anybody to make a force so I must say that in future don't make a force no don't make a force <laughs> please do really and I, I did need it and it, it's funny isn't it how um I think I'm a bit um Oh, if I say that I need something, um, I might get let down. So I'm not going to say it. I'll just pretend that um, I don't. And yeah, and then if it doesn't happen, I, you know, that's okay. Um, so yeah, it was really, really nice. Um, so yeah, that was um, a day. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then what's up in the rest of the week? Well, it took me a few days to get get over um yeah the the week before um because <clears throat> we all had his final final visit up to my mum's we all went up singly um and i spent a couple of hours up there um <clears throat> so yeah it was um it was a tough tough week and um, so yeah i was really tired um at the beginning of the week And that's well, yeah, that's lovely. So that's two we've done. Um, right, so let's have a look at this one. Probably round the corners on, on this one. Um, oh, I've got some. There was that tall piece that I said I was going to rip round. Oh, come on. I've um, put them in a different different order. Oh, I think when I put put those new printouts, I think I just placed them on top. That's what I was thinking. Um, and then let's pull those to the front. Okay. Right. I don't know if that will be too tall or or not. Oh no, that's perfect. So. It would take some of the ticket off, but um, if I start tearing around this, I'll probably have to put some. Oh, do I have to? Could I just stick it on? No, I feel like I want to rip it out and put it on a plain uh, background. So yes, the beginning of the week I didn't didn't do do a lot. Did lots of resting, um, and then. Um, Yesterday, which was Thursday for me, um, I went for my x-ray, so they've x-rayed um, my pelvis and hips and my knee. Um, they didn't do do my back because um, I've got pain in different places in my back, so um, it would be too much radiation um, to do all the different places, so... She said that I would need um, a CT scan. Um, so um, I'm going to wait for the results from, from the hips and, and knee because I'm thinking a lot of my back pain could be to do with my hips and I think my knee pain could also be with, with my hips. Um, so I thought I'll leave it leave it at that for now uh wait till those results come in they will take up to two weeks to get to my doctors um because <laughs> um i went to um it's like a local hospital but it's not in our um i mean i would say it's not in our catchment area um so if if it was in my catchment area, they would email uh, the results because it's not in my catchment area. They're not on the same kind of um, database. Um, <clears throat> so they have to they send it postal. Now I could have gone to 
a hospital what's um in my catchment but that's in the city and um yeah it's always really busy when you go and um yeah i'm not wanting to go really to a really busy hospital when um you know there's still there's still a lot of um people not well and and things and um yeah obviously every time i've been going out i've been coming back you know with some kind of bug um because i'm not used to being around people well my body's not um, so I wasn't that keen on going to the one in the city, which, that, you know, that's the one that I would normally uh, go to. Um, so, yeah, I thought, well, I'd prefer to go to the local one, even though it's funny because it's it's a lot nearer to me than the city one. So, but, you know, it's a different it's a different council. Um, um I, I don't know how other countries um are but um yeah in, in in the uk it's kind of the catchment areas they are your like council um so it's like i don't know it's like authorities um so like your police and your schools <clears throat> they all come under um oh, wrong scissors you know that your area's catchment and like our um, bin men and um thing things like that so yes even though it's going to take longer um and I, we went to my appointment was for 12 o'clock and we got there at 20 to 12 and um i was seen within five minutes um now if i'd have gone to the city um into the city um i you know could have been waiting up to to an hour um because you know the, even though you've got an appointment it's um you never you never get seen because they're so so busy um and we went in the waiting room there was just one one other person um so yeah it was just in in and out uh but <clears throat> you know i've got longer to wait but she did say, you know, if it was something, um, you know, serious, um, I don't know what would fall into serious, but um, <clears throat> she said then they would call, you know, your doctor. Um, so um, if it, I think if it's just, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what they'd class like arthritis. It, would they just wait and? you know you'd hear that from your doctors i don't know so i'm gonna glue that down and then i'll just cut cut that off after i think i could do it now <laughs> now i've scored it with my uh nail tool um so yeah that was um yesterday thursday is it? yeah friday today uh ryan's been off um since wednesday it's Ryan's normal day off is a Wednesday um, and he bought a couple of days um, holiday just to use them up really and um, so he was off um, Thursday, Friday and then he'll be off this weekend. It is his weekend off anyway because um, he has every other weekend off so he only has to then use two days holiday and it kind of gets is it five five days off so it does that every now and again and it just gives him gives him a break so that's made me a bit confused to what day is it because um yeah you just get used to <laughs> used to you know because certain days he works at certain times like a certain day he works late and um things like that so yeah it becomes your pattern doesn't it oh i can't get this in. yeah i've ordered another one of these um since because rita uh jensen sent me this um which i was very grateful for because at the time they did not got them on the uk amazon but they now have them so i have ordered um another one what am i doing with this this goes in here yeah, I like that. So let's paper clip that together. Um, that's 
that one how long have i been on for 39 i might have to make this into two videos hope i'm not going too slow i think i'm crafting and talking at the same time um i did find this after um we filmed yesterday's uh so i thought well that would be okay for for one side then i saw that this was a little thing so if you remember that piece i've put that in there so we just wanted one in here did i not cut a piece to that oh i did surely i did so it just got mixed up somewhere i think that's yeah, that's it, because that one's inside. Okay, so that's that one. Right, what shall I put on it? Let's have a look. Too tall. Oh, what about them um, dandelion ones? Doing a lot of flicking about with this paper. I'm sorry, like I've got my arm out, but it, it's the only place that I could put it. I thought I'd put all that. Oh, it's there. Sorry. Right. That's yeah. That'd be nice. So that's a bit tall. If I do that bit, that's got that nice butterfly on. So I think what I'm going to do is just glue that and stick it on, but the right way. Um, yes, and then Thursday after Alna got home from from school, um, she was booked in at the dentist just for a, a checkup, and um, everything was fine with um, with the teeth. Um, and then she was booked in the hairdressers, so she's not had a haircut since. <laughs> feel embarrassed to say. Um, since before lockdown, um, you know, right at the beginning, um, <clears throat> the time before when I, when I took her, she only wanted, oh, I don't know, a centimetre off that. And I told the hairdresser, you know, bearing in mind then she was, I don't know, 12. I told the hairdresser she wanted like an inch and a half on it and uh, off. And she never got over it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she's not wanted to go. Um, but um, and she don't. She doesn't like hairdressers. I mean, she doesn't like the doctors, dentists, or hairdressers. I'm sure um, most kids are the same. Um, but I took her to. Um, I've had a massage there, so it's um, it's a bit like a beauty uh parlor. Um, it it does everything. It does nails, ha uh, eyebrows massages facials and uh head hairdressers um and they've, they've just got one hairdresser um well i'll tell you that bit in a minute but yeah they've just got one hairdresser um who's the daughter's owner the daughter's the owner's daughter um she, she's you know a young young girl so i said to eleanor like i'll, I'll put you in there because she's she's young she went to the same school um as Eleanor um I said and you won't you know you you won't feel awkward because she, she always feels it a little bit awkward I really like that that's a lovely paper so that's that one one done I'll probably put tabs on in that but I'll do them you know when when I, when I use them because I, I find if you start putting tabs on and stuff they get knocked in and things like like that so that's that one um this one i remembered that i'd got a little tuck there so we've got this tiny tag um and then this one is in here so we need to make sure that we've got a decent uh picture on there so let's um let's find something i don't know if to what's the picture on that side all day is hmm I've got small, 
small daisy i'm thinking for there but i do want a picture one for for that i'm wondering about doing it in in this just so it's not all um all daisies just just a bit of a, a break from that yeah i think i'll do do that so if i put it okay i'll do that um, yes, and she ended up liking the girl and feeling comfortable with her. And um, the girl said, um, she had another about an inch and a half of it. And, and the girl said, um, you know, you really do need to get all this this off and it will grow quicker. You know, everything that I've always told her. But um, yeah, because this girl, you know, is young and cool. <laughs> she was like, oh, yes. Um, and yeah, oh, it looks so much better. Um, she just put put her long layers back in, and then just you know took took the dead off it, and um, yeah, it looks loads better. It looks like it's actually been styled. But um, I only booked her in for a dry cut because I thought, oh, she'll feel too awkward to have it, you know, washed and styled. And after she did say, oh, I wish you'd have, um, you know, booked me. I said, well, next time, obviously we won't leave it as long. Because uh, I'm hoping she'll want to go, you know, she'll go there on her own kind of um, thing. So I said, well, next time, you know, you can have it washed and, and styled. Um, so, yeah, that was that was good. We had a nice little chit-chat. I've only been once once before, but, um, yeah, she could, well, I think she could remember me. <laughs> we was talking as if, uh, as if she remembered me. And, you know, they were talking about teachers at school and <clears throat> this, that and the other. So, yeah, it was, it was nice. And um, another young girl came came in from, from out the back and, and, the, and the girl who was cutting uh, Eleanor's hair, she said, um, the other girl asked her something and she started, she said, oh, do you mind if I show her? <clears throat> on on Ellen, I said no, no, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> just that you know the technique that she was using to, I think, cut the layers in or something. Um, and I said to the girl, I said, oh, are you um training? And she said, yes. She says I'm I'm the apprentice. Um, and she said, um, <clears throat> I've done done like the cutting part. I'm on I'm on dye hair dyeing now. Um, I'm just I think I might do that with this this at the top look i don't know if you can see it it's really pretty it's got um like an embossed i don't know if it's lace um or an embossed like kind of wallpaper it's very very nice um yes and she said you know i'm doing a uh, hair dyeing and i said oh i said book me in then i said i'll be a model because I, <laughs> I used to go into town and um there was um a teaching salon there and um i used to go there quite often um <clears throat> and um they, they always made a lovely very slow do it doing it but um they always done a really lovely lovely job and you know if, if somebody don't model for them they're never gonna learn are they and i always think <clears throat> you know they're not gonna mess it up too too much and that you know somebody's gonna rectify it so um you know i'm not really over precious with with my hair so yeah i booked in for her, with her because i had um had some foils put in because um since the lockdown at the beginning of the lockdown i've just been putting a black hair dye over my hair um just to cover cover the gray um so my hair's just you know this one flat uh color that's that one oh, i like that that looks lovely with that color in i'm glad i put that one in um we'll do oh, one at a time um we'll do one more so we'll do this one so we put that at the back there and then that flips up so the journal card comes out the bottom does it no it doesn't it comes on the side um yeah so when i went into uh, town a few weeks ago um i had it 
cut because I'd only had it cut once since um, after lockdown. Um, and when I'd gone the first time, the hair was that horrendous. I just said, you know, just cut it. Uh, I couldn't even think how I wanted it because it it had just grown so long. Um, it was awful. So, and I said, oh, you know, I'll come back another time and and have it done done again. Uh, so I went back and um, I had like um. Hmm, I think I'll go plain. Have I got any start? I just feel like I keep starting ones. No, oh, that's card. I don't want to use card. No, I think I'll do a pale one and then we'll put something on it. I'll go this side because it's more plain. Um, yeah, so I went back anyway and she did me like um under the chin kind of bob. Um, I think it's all one one length now, me, me hair. And I had some foils put in and she um, put some chocolate brown ones in um, to get my hair, you know, back to its kind of um, own colour. Um, and I said, oh, I'll, I'll come back at the end of... I think I said, I can't remember if I said the end of March or April. And I've not booked back in. So when this um, trainee said uh, about it, I said, oh, I'll come, come here. Oh, my goodness, it's a quarter of the price. So, yeah, it was, um, I felt lucky that, um, you know, that, that we was there at that time and, and started that conversation. So, yeah, I said, oh, I'll book him for another two weeks i think i said so yeah and, I said, and she said she can put me some more chocolate brown in so that would be nice so i'm hoping after that time um it'll be more my kind of own color and then i can start because i've always dyed my own hair um and i can start just putting um you know a lighter colored brown on than um having to put the darkest on because nothing else would, would cover it. And I must remember never to go that dark again. But the unfortunate thing is I've got um three three dark brown um hair dyes in my uh, bathroom cupboard. because uh, I was buying them off Amazon um like in boxes of six because uh, I was having to do it, you know, every few few weeks because the grain was just coming so quick. Um, I need to put something in this, don't I? But what I'm doing is just checking um, which way it goes. Because otherwise, so it doesn't go that way. It goes that way, okay. Gosh, I th I'm worn out now, are you? <laughs> After telling you everything, um, so yeah, I think I think that's as up to up to date now. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going back to work on the eleventh of April. Shall I tell you all that tomorrow? I'll tell you all that tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll not have nothing to talk about. <laughs> We don't have anything to talk about, and I'm going to be filming that straight after this one. So, uh, yeah, I won't have had time to to uh, find something else to talk about. I think I could just do with some plain labels. I'm wondering if to put that in and no, and I'll cut it. I, I want something darker. So, um, not like I've you know not got enough labels. Um, reason being, I'd printed loads of stuff never got around to print uh cutting it out um and then i just sat while I'm, you know when i'm poorly and stuff and just cutting things out that i'd already got printed um and then you're like oh my goodness i've got all this stuff printed so i do not need to print any labels i mean i i obviously will if they're within a kit but um yeah no no full kits of labels at all. I did 
um, print some more words off there because I wanted some foresty ones for the uh, Woodlands friends. Well, I think I'll do a few days on, on that next week just for, for a break from, from the daisies. Um, I don't really need a break from it. I'm just wondering if people are getting fed up seeing, seeing the same thing. I, I don't know. Um, I'd like to know how you find yesterday's video because I'm, I don't normally film that kind of, um, thing. I, I would have done that kind of off camera. Um, but like, I always like watching Denise do, sort through her stuff and see what she's got and see what she still needs. So I thought, oh, I'll, I'll film it. But yeah, I felt... I don't know, like I needed to rush rush through it. Um, so I thought, oh, everybody will be bored. But yeah, you'll have to let me know. Was it boring? I really like that. I think with the daisies, you can just do it really simple and it, it just goes lovely. So that's that. So I'm going to come back tomorrow. Oh, oh no. <laughs> and we'll finish this handful off. And I'm sure I can find um, something something else. I did find some other things actually. I don't know what I've, what I've done with them. Ah, I've put them. So yes, I um, was sorting through <laughs> another file of things. And um, I found this. Uh, which is obviously from an anine kit and it's got the daisies on. This brown, which I thought fitted really well. Um, the page postcards, which colour-wise I thought went really well. A tall pocket and another pocket. But the only thing is, if I do decorate the pockets up, I've then got to make more tags, haven't I? So I thought I'll just keep them as, as standby uh, pieces. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going. So thank you very much for uh, stopping by today and um, having a bit of a catch-up with me. Um, and I shall see you tomorrow for more finishing these tags off. And then it's all systems go, go, go. Because uh, I feel as if, oh, let me show you. I've been tea staining some. Um, this is from, um, I forget what paper pad. And I've tea stained uh, this. So I thought this will be really nice to do something with. So I've got a couple of sheets of, of that as well. So, and obviously I've arranged um, the folders, what I've what i've shown you so yeah we, we're getting getting there right going i shall see you tomorrow bye for now